Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry and this is part two of my uh, Buttons and Charms um, share video. Um, I told you in the previous video that I have four of the 16 box photo savers from Michaels that you can get on sale at, for $14.99 on occasion and I have four of them. The previous video I did baby and holiday and this video is going to be my boy and girl themed boxes. So, um, and these I have labeled. So this one's labeled football and it's not just buttons and charms in here, you guys. I mean, I've got football cleats and helmets, but I also have stickers that I have done and tiles that I have done. And to be quite honest, these need to go in my football ready-made tiles box. So we're going to pull them out. So you guys are inspiring me to clean up my organization. So this is wonderful. So these are all that would get trimmed down. This was just a scrap of white pearl clay and I stuck the sticker to it and I would cut it down to fit. But I ended up not using it on the project. Um... A lot of these are on red because, or bright yellow because those are the Chiefs colors. I have some stars. Holy macaroni, you guys. Okay. So let's get these out of the way so you can actually see the buttons. Hustle. And I thought this on the last series that I should have cleaned them up before I brought you guys along, but, um... I'll just do it with while you guys are with me. So that red star can come out and go in the star box. Come here, you. So thank you guys for motivating me to clean up my stash. Haha. Uh -huh. That's a. Uh... Oh, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Okay. That's actually what the red star was on. So we'll glue that down. Okay, um, I have a couple of arrowheads because at least for the time being, that's the Kansas City Chiefs. Whether it's going to stay the Chiefs, I don't know. That's kind of up in the air right now, but that's why those are in with the football. Okay, so um, huh? I don't know why he's in there. Well, I mean, I know why he's in there because he's a football player, but this could also be used on how, for Halloween, for like a kid that's dressed up for Halloween. I don't know if I want him to stay in football. I kind of think I want him to go somewhere else, so we're going to pull him out. Okay. Um, helmets. I bought several different bags with different colors of helmets. That's one of those um, shoe charms. But as you can see, I have all different colors of helmets. There's a couple of metal football charms in here. And then some various sizes and colors of footballs. And that's pretty much all that's in here. So, random star. It's kind of an odd color. So... So that is the football box. I also use these shoes for a baseball mosaics because um, they could be cleats as well for baseball. So, so that's the football box. And then we've got baseball. Hmm. Those are basketball shoes. I don't know why they're in the baseball box. See? You guys are making me clean stuff up. And I also have some baseball tiles already made. So, um, this is the lady that I buy a lot of my buttons from. Embellishment buttons. So, she's got a Etsy shop. And it's just Etsy 
Etsy.com shop backslash embellishment buttons all together. So I haven't taken these out of the bags yet. So it's a little set of like a navy blue theme, got baseballs, different sizes of baseballs. There's some little baseball bats. Look at all these already made that I need to pull out. I did a Kansas City Royals. Huh, there's a pretzel for crying out loud. Which does go with baseball. Hmm. That's missing whatever was stuck to it. There's a hot dog. That's why. Um, but we'll put them in the ready-made. This says got game. Another hot dog. A bucket of bottles of beer. All-star. Yeah, I think I was thinking at one point it would make more sense to... keep the tiles that I already had made with the buttons, but, and then as I said, royals are blue and gold, so, and I could put these with the stars, but because they were specifically done for um, the royals, I'll keep them with those so um so yeah so i've got baseball hats baseball gloves baseball bats baseballs home plate and then there's some random metal charms of baseballs in here as well a couple more Oh, that's what the one the baseball went on. Okay. And I know I saw the... Yeah. Sorry, you guys, it's getting late. We just had heck of thunderstorms roll through here. There's a... There it is. I knew it was there somewhere. So this was a... It's a beer bottle with a baseball hat on top of it, and... Like of the foam where number one finger, which I painted blue, but I wasn't happy with how it came out. So it may get used on another project, but I ended up not using it on the one I was doing. And I don't know why this first prize button is in here. There's another random star. Okay, so baseball. Mostly hats, bats, gloves, and balls, right? Sorry, I'm trying to find the glove that goes on this one. Nope, not seeing it. Because it would be one that already has the uh, shank cut off. Hmm, not seeing it. Okay. So, since we're here, let's go ahead and empty out these bags. Since we're here, might as well. It's your fault, you guys. I blame y'all. Just kidding. I'll tell you what. We got about two more seconds of messing with this, and I'm going to cut it with scissors. Really? Yep. I try to save these little bags. They come in handy, but that one just didn't want to open, so... Baseballs. Baseball preseason started. Spring training. I haven't been able to listen to any game yet because they play during the day. But when they start playing night games, I'll be tuning in on my truck. So, okay. So I had baseball, football, and then the rest of my sports are in this box. Like I said, these are basketball high tops. Got, this is all hockey. There's little hockey players. Hockey jerseys, sticks, skates, pucks. Let's see. 
This is the few buttons I have left for golf. There's a golf bag, a golf ball, and little golf carts. Random empty bag. So we got basketball jerseys and basketballs. Probably put them all in one bag. That would make sense, right? Soccer balls. That's something else those black shoes can be used for. Is uh, soccer shoes. But I know they're in the baseball. So I'm going to show you guys these. Don't worry. It's a little basketball goal button. Come here. There's no point in having a bag for just one. I'll put it in with the jerseys. So see, it's a little, little basketball goal. So, I did a very large set of mosaics for somebody last year. That was all their favorite sports teams. It was craziness. I kept adding teams to it after I started creating, and I ended up doing like 30 mosaics. I wasn't real happy about that, but... I was very burned out on it by the time it was all said and done. So these are stickers that just say Team Spirit. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, little uh, pennants that say win in red and blue. This is, uh, they say go team. Come on. Just let me have one facing the right direction. No? Okay. But they say go team. And then this is also Go Team in gray. And let's see, we've got basketball, basketball. That's a soccer ball, soccer ball, basketball. So I was obviously doing some quick putting away and didn't put them exactly back where they go. Soccer ball, basketball. Um, no, wrong bag. So, yeah, I'm, there was no point in having separate boxes for the rest of these sports, although, as I rearrange, um, I may pull out, like, these win and go team and put them in a separate container. I'll have to see as we're going through this, you guys. I might end up with doing a little rearranging. So, just putting the soccer balls in the soccer balls. So, we got basketball. These need to go back into a bag, a small bag. Sorry, my head was probably in the shot. And these are megaphones that say go and go team. Which are technically cheerleader type things, but they also work for the sports. So, and then we have our hockey and our golf and soccer. And then these are all the go team. Team spirit. I do feel like I need another container for that. I'm going to have to see as I do some rearranging if I have room. Because that would be a better option. But for right now, that one is random sports. Okay. Sorry, you guys. Kind of getting all over the place here. Um, this one is vehicles. It is train engines, airplanes. I have cars in a separate, um, there's a little, another kind of little trains, trains and planes, I guess, that's what's in here, so, and these are, I believe, buttons galore buttons, some of them might be dress it up, I'm not sure, and then I had some random gold charms, there was a couple of bicycles and a couple of airplanes, and so I put them in here. 
as well. So that's vehicles. This next one is cars. Okay, so we've got more of these um, crock charms that come with the little black nub on the back, and then that's what it looks like after I cut the nub off. And then I just glue these down on an already baked tile. So, there's some random ones of those. Semis, of course, I am a truck driver. There's some buttons that are just like little pieces of road. So we have cars, speedster cars, race cars, um, checkered flags, motorcycles. I did a Harley Davidson mosaic. That one came out pretty cool. Um, I've also got these gold skull charms in here. Honestly, not sure why. They should probably be in Halloween. Oh, look, and I have a stop sign that's already on clay, but I'm going to leave it in here. Um, yeah, this other set of buttons comes with stop sign, traffic light, piece of the road. Trying to find one of the traffic lights. I probably already used it. Or it's in my Disney cars stash. Yeah, let's see. There's some stop signs. They also have like yield signs and. Dang it, I was really. There's a slippery when wet sign. Traffic cones that I have that in with the construction stuff. So. That's what's in this one. I'm not going to fish the uh, skulls out of here right now. I'll do that later. So so that's cars. Okay. And then we've got construction. So we've got, you know. I'm not going to sit here and try and name them because I don't know. That's a crane. You guys, I'm so sorry that I keep coughing. Dump truck. Yep, that's what's in here. And a little construction man. And again, that could go with uh, Halloween or whatever. But for right now, it'll stay in here. Oh, and there's one of the couple of the traffic cones. See? So if there was someone that had a little boy that liked construction equipment and that was the decor of the bedroom, I can totally do a construction themed. Yep. Okay, this box is Hero. And if you watched my sticker stash, um, collection, share, whatever, um, this will make sense to you. So see, there's a the little fireman with the word Hero. Come here, come here. Yeah, anyway, fire trucks, military type stuff, right? Scrubs. There's a thermometer, stethoscope, bottle of pills. There's a tank. Mm, this is fire trucks, police cars. That's what's in there. Sorry. You know, it's just helicopters. Little nurse hat. Oops. Fire hydrant. Got some little band aids. So. And then a couple of charms that kind of make me think of scrubs. So. So that is my hero box. Military, cops, firemen, medical. Alright. This one is school. We got like journal, books,
school house, school bus, first day of school, backpack, pencils, glue stick, ruler, pencil sharpener. It's amazing what they can do with these buttons, you guys. Um, paintbrush. There's crowns in here, all different colors. There's this style, and then there's also... Eh, I don't know where it went. There was another style that's uh, smaller, and it doesn't say crown. There, there's one. So, two different types of... Son of a gun. I'm about done for the night, you guys. Can you tell? Crowns. Um... Again, I don't know why the first prize is in there. Um, there's computers, notebook paper. I love to write. Another crown. Then the the big handprints. I don't know. That just said school to me. Primary colors. So. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these first prize ribbons. Gosh, I got a lot of them. Taking them out of here, though. Um, the little chalkboard. One half equals two fourths. Yeah. All right. So, that is my school box. Oh, there's an apple in there, too. That should really go in the food. Told you guys, you're forcing me to reorganize my buttons. So, all right. Then we've got honestly this. I haven't really found buttons for this thing yet. Planets, outer space. Astronauts, rocket ships, that kind of thing. I mean, I'm sure there are. I just I haven't really looked. But when I ordered my charms in bulk, um, they had a ton of these um, different, like, planets. So, and then there's these heart charms that have, like, a... Can you guys hear the thunder? There's like a little UFO and a moon and a star on them, so. I don't know. Anyway, so for right now, that's my planet box. Um, of course, I do have tons of stars and moons. But they're in a separate box, in separate boxes, so. For right now, anyway. Alright. This is camping. And so this would also include fishing. So these are um, like the fish, the fishing bags. I I don't know where you keep the fish. I don't know. Um, got some tents, a little rowboat. These are moons, but they're weird moons. So I kind of left them in here because they're kind of odd. I don't know. It's a little um, cabin. I have a couple of forest animals in here, which, quite frankly, should be in my animal box, so we're going to pull those out. You guys should see the piles I have over here off to the side of things that need to go in different places. Um, binoculars. Hiking boots. Uh, s'mores. Little campfire. And then fishing pole with a hook. And then there's um, rifle and hunting knife. So, hunting, fishing, camping. I've done several themes in that, so my button stash is getting a little low on this. But, anyway. Alright, next one is um, farm. So this is going to be... 
um, tractors, of course, horses, and then farm animals. Got sheep, pig, cowboy boots, little cowboy man. There's a cow. Another little farmer guy. Um, covered wagon. It's an interesting star. I'll leave it in here. I think I had a, like, sheriff themed one or something. Cowboy hats. Another cowboy. There's a little donkey. A little random tractor. Another one. These are the crop shoe charms again. Um, uh oh, I wonder where the rest of this animal is. There it is. A rooster. Um, there's also, these are like the dressage. Um, horseback riding competition kind of buttons. I did a mosaic in this theme a couple of years ago for um, a family who had lost their teenage daughter in a plane crash. She was on her way to a competition in South America. And so it was a memorial frame for her, which came out really beautifully, if I do say so myself. So those are some leftover buttons from that. And I think that's all we got in our horseshoes. And a saddle. Okay. So that's farm. And we've got dinosaurs. Again. I don't have a whole lot of them. That's... These are from, I think, the land before time, right? There was a couple of them in the grab bag of shoe charms that I got. And then a couple different sets of dinosaurs. You have that style, then we have this style. And then we have these little mini ones. So, dinosaurs. Music box. Music. This one's going to be crazy. So this is all um, metal charms of uh, music notes, musical instruments, that kind of thing. Okay, and then I've got just the word music, and there's a horn, and a trumpet, and a piano. Saxophone. That's a random shoe charm. It's a guitar. Um, guitars. And then, of course, there's all kinds of random music notes in here as well. In button form. So you get like. Okay, so that's music. They had a bunch on clearance. That's why I have so much in the music theme. Somebody did. Don't ask me who. It was a couple years ago, but I bought a lot because they were on clearance. Okay. Uh, gambling. So these are just little uh, paper playing cards. I use those on a project I used I did recently. A couple of stamps that, quite frankly, I'm not happy with how they came out. I don't even know if I'm going to keep those, to be honest. We got dollar signs, dice, got the four suits of the cards. These were uh, strung beads.
And that's pretty much it. A couple of little metal random charms. Oh, and then the cards. Playing cards, of course. For each suit. So those are my gambling buttons. And... This one is just characters. These are all, um, for the most part, shoe charms. I do have some Snoopy. This is like a Christmas ornament, actually. Um, I have Snoopy. Um, Incredible Hulk. Um, this is a button. It was a button set. Came with two different types. It says, uh, Boom and Pow. And. <coughs> Spider-Man. More Incredible Hulk. Minions. Um. Comic book carrier. Characters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, there's a Batman. Yeah, I don't know who he is. Another Spider-Man, oops. So, Snoopy and comic book characters for the most part. So, that's what's in here. So, characters. Okay. And then this last one. If I was gonna, if I was gonna split that sports one and put the cheerleading kind of stuff in a separate box, this would be the box I put it in. Because I just have some random gold charms here of people. There's a hand grenade. There's another um, arrowhead. There's a battle axe. There's a little rabbit playing tennis. I mean, come on, I don't know what I'm going to do with that thing. So, basically random charms that I wasn't sure where else to put them. But what I think I'm going to do is put them in one of these little Ziploc bags. And maybe put them in with the characters in the character box. That's what I think I'm going to do. That's what I think I'm going to do. And then that will free up that box for me to put the cheerleading one in. I'm going to move school. Vehicles, cars, construction, hero. I won't relabel the box right now, but I'm going to do this real quick. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, not sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. There we go. Much better. That makes me happier. So, that's the downside of labeling everything. I mean, is when things change around and you're constantly relabeling. If you guys have seen my crafter and tour video and you saw my clay storage, I chose not to label the cubbies because, oops, because there's so many times where, well, because like every year it's like they bring out new colors and they retire colors and so I'm constantly having to rearrange and if I was having to relabel it in addition to rearranging, that would get irritating, so. Okay, all right, so this is the girl box, and we're going to start with Princess. So in here I've got um, various princess buttons. I've got little dragons. I have little frogs that are wearing crowns. Another little princess. Some different kinds of dragons. Some more different kinds of dragons. 
um, little storybook that says Once Upon a Time. Where'd you go? I know I saw one in here. Knight in Shining Armor. And I know you're thinking, but where's the castle and the horse and buggy, the carriage and all that? It's coming. All right. So these are all different princesses. Dragons, frogs, and the knight. Okay. So that's the first box. And then... I have a second princess box that is just metal charms. I got these on clearance and there were several, I think I bought every set they had. So, um, there's a little carriage, there's a shoe, a little castle, a little once upon a time storybook, frog with a crown. See if there's any other ones. I have a few gold charms in here. This says queen. I have another spot for crowns, but I think I had one gold set. Yeah, that's why these are in here. Because I also have a similar set in gold. Wow. There's there's the crown. Wow. It's all tangled up. I don't even know how that happened. I'll fix that later. Okay. Yeah, I also have a, a gold set. With the shoe. Frog. The word princess. Crown that says queen. Crown that says princess. Okay. So those are metal charms. So, what are these? Smaller. What are these? Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't even know what these are. Chandelier, maybe? I have no idea. Must have been part of the set, though, so that's why they're in there. I don't know. Here, you guys tell me. What do you think that is? I don't know. Beats me. All right. Next one is Castle. This has, oops, there's a book in there too. A couple different styles of castles. There's pink, purple, blue. And I've got um, horses and carriages. So blue carriage, purple carriage. Pink carriage. Okay. And there's a couple different styles of horses. That's actually a little unicorn button. And then um, the books that say Once Upon a Time. So that's what's in this. This used to all be in one box. It's labeled Princess, but I outgrew it. All right. These are my crowns. So these are buttons. Oh, and also uh, princess dresses are in here too, apparently. These are buttons. No gold crowns. Some ones with little rhinestones. I have a lot of metal ones that I got. Various. Styles of those. So yeah, most of the crowns, but also wedding dresses and shoes are in here too. How very odd. Another version. Mostly crowns. Honestly, the dresses and shoes should probably go in with the princess, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Alright. Then I have two boxes for unicorns. This one is, these should actually be in the characters box, but that's okay. I think they're like My Little Ponies. Um, these are like brads, buttons, whatever you call them, grommet buttons. I have unicorns on them. 
And there's a couple different versions from Dress It Up that you can get. You can get these colored horses. Right? And there's the white ones with all the different colors of mane. Right? Um, these were Buttons Galore ones. About my fave. Got those at the very beginning when I first started doing this. I have a few of these left that are, um, I'll use these for like feet on a box or I'll, you know, put them on the top of a box. They won't get embedded like this. So that's those. And then my favorites. Uh, this is another Buttons Glower version. But my favorite set is this set. Comes with these three. And then it also comes with stars and hearts in the same three colors. But I pull the stars and hearts out and put them in with my stars and hearts. So, so those are my unicorns. And... Something that, you know, you'll learn as you go, like what your preferences are, what you like, what you don't like. When I first started, I was buying everything because I didn't know. And now I know, so I know not to buy certain things again. So, okay. This is also unicorns, but it is um, charms, metal charms. These you can find in the strung beads and jewelry area in Michael's. And, um, so they're unicorn with wings, so Pegasus unicorn combination, I guess. I don't know. So I have a lot of those. When they were on sale for, like, 60% off, I bought all they had. So, and then these are, I have a couple different metal charms. These are paper clips. And if I was going to embed this on the clay, I would cut... I haven't ever done it, but I would cut it right here. Oops. Come on. So I would cut the paper clip part off and then just embed that in the clay. So I have these in like mermaids and a couple other themes too. So. Right. So that's my unicorns. And then I have two boxes for ballet. And if I was being honest, this box probably should be. Wow. So, um, because these are not specifically ballet. I mean, Okay, I wish I could find these. I don't think they're made anymore. Pink long stem roses. Let's keep looking. Um, then I have like little tiaras. Some just little lacy hearts. I don't know. These are like, you know, scene seven, take 22, whatever. And then, of course, there's a lot of white bows, pink roses. Pink hearts, that kind of thing. So, kind of an odd box. And like these flowers should be in my flower box. With the rest of my pink roses. And the hearts should be in my pink heart box. And so on and so forth. But, um, I'm not going to mess with it right now because... I am fading fast, you guys, and I need to go eat and get to bed. So, all right. So this is the actual ballerina box, ballet box. Um, so I've got some little gold charms that are little ballerinas. Okay. Then got ballet shoes. And little ballerinas, right? There's that kind of ballerina. Then there's also 
just this ballerina, like a silhouette. Let's put her right side up so you can tell what you're looking at. Oops. Um, tutu. The word ballet. I'm looking for specific ballet shoes that go with this button set. This is what happens when you dump it all in a box together. And so this was a button set. Okay, except for it had a couple different ballerinas. See? So that was a set. But anyway, a lot of ballet shoes. And the word ballet. Okay. So that's ballet. Halfway done. I don't know what's going on with my YouTube today, you guys. It took 24 hours for one of my videos to upload, which is ridiculous. Um, this is characters, but it's primarily Peppa Pig because I did a Peppa Pig project. Um, and then the cars are in here because they have flowers on them. So that's why they're not in the boy cars section. And I have stickers that are like 60s, 70s, hippies, flower power, girl power kind of theme and those would go with that but that's what's primarily in this one and these are again those um rubber charms all right and we've got girls night out so this is purses perfume bottles lipstick dresses High heeled shoes, bottles of nail polish, lips, charms, really weird color of wine glass. These are some metal charms. It's a lipstick, little bows, there's a hat, random hat, random lipstick. Um, dress, another kind of bottle of nail polish, got a mirror, another kind of shoe, another set of shoes, these are cool, I like those a lot. Hair dryer. Yep. Curling iron. So that's kind of what's going on in this box. Kind of um shopping and spa kind of stuff, I guess. Okay. This one is I don't know. It's just labeled BFF. Again, there's stuff in here that probably shouldn't be. Um Got the girls. Again, these could go in Halloween. These could go in, I don't know, school. That one could. I don't know. There's one dressed up like a princess. Those should probably go in Halloween for like trick or treaty costume kids, but I don't know. I don't know why I have sunglasses in here because I have them in another location. Mostly what's in here is. Charms that say, like, friends forever, girls rule, another girl, another set of lips, and BFF charm. Friends. So, I don't know. Not my best organization, to be honest. And that's a box that could probably be undone and combined with something else. So, all right. Fairy. I actually have two of these fairy boxes. Okay, these are, I think they're called flutter bugs or something like that. Um, oh, she lost her wings. Is there only two kinds? Looks like it. Thought there were three. How very odd. Pink, purple, 
Yeah, apparently there's only two. Weird. Okay, but that's what these are. Little kind of a fairy kind of buttons. That's all I have in that box, which is odd. Again, I could probably reorganize because this is also a fairy box. Alright, so we've got fairy doors. Um, the reason this dragon is in here is be because it goes with this unicorn, which goes with the fairy girl. Look, I have a flutter bug in here, too. You guys, these boxes are a mess. I'm glad you guys asked for this. I'm going to fix it. Not right now, but got mushrooms. Little mushroom houses. Some more of those shoe charms. Some little smiley face mushrooms. This is another set of fairy buttons. Where did the third one go? Where'd you go? There she is. So that's a set of buttons, just like that. Okay. And then I've got a bunch of metal charms in here that are fairies. in this box so that could actually get combined with that other one not gonna do it right now though three more to go you guys hang in there bear with me this is Paris um, there's actually a button set that is specifically called Paris and has a bicycle it has a postcard that says bonjour from France it has this little button that says Paris it will have a pink butterfly. Okay. And then I have these set, these random buttons, which I just put in here because of the colors. I kind of think they might work with my, uh, bedroom project I'm working on. I kind of think so. You know what? I'm stick them in a bag and throw them in that basket. I might end up using them. And this is why you should go through your entire stash when you're doing projects because I'll tell you what, there's nothing more irritating you guys than you get done with a project and then you come across something later that would have been perfect for it. Um, I don't know why these, this is in here. These should not be in here. But, again, I'm not going to see it right now. Okay. This is miscellaneous. These are mostly the um, slime charms that I got in bulk from China. And they're like little weird characters. Weird colors of bows. So I do have some bows in here that are not weird, but like this one. That's a weird one for me. Um, these are strung beads. They're just little flowers. And then some random stuff that shouldn't be in here. You seeing a theme here, you guys? I don't think I've ever used any of those, or very few of them. I keep thinking I ought to get rid of them, because if I don't like them, I'm not going to use them. So, All right, this last box is sewing. And, yes, I have stuff on purple clay. I have stuff stamped on purple clay. Those should totally go elsewhere, but... Make something pretty today. Let's play. Create. Take time to create. Don't forget to play. Get creative. Play. Practice. Craft day. 
slow. Getting messy. So these were kind of craft related sayings and make. Um, and then I've got a bunch of spools of thread and thimbles on purple clay that I did project a while back. Um, honestly, I'll probably pop these off and reuse the buttons. So, um, I don't know why I have three gold squares in here that have nothing on them. No clue on that. All right. So I do have a charm set that is arts and crafts, and that actually goes in another location. So I'm going to pull these out. I love crafting. Couple of random gold charms. Yeah. Mostly spools of thread and scissors. I had these scissors that were in the school box and I pulled them out because they're they're like shears. They're sewing shears. Shears. Wow. Oh my god, you guys, I am so done. Um, yeah, these need to go in the crafting. I have a different um No, I don't. I'm not sure if I do or not. We'll leave them out for now. But anyway. Alright, you guys. Making a mess. So these were the four of the big photo boxes. Um, memory keepers or whatever they're called. That I got from Michael's. And like I said, I've got four. One for boy, one for girl. One for baby and one for holiday. Quick zoom out. That's what these four boxes are. So um, that is, this is part two of my button stash. And that's all I'm going to get done tonight, to be honest with you. I do have more. And let me move this, put it away. Um, in these types of containers. And I'll go through these with you guys in another video. But I have like 30 of these. And so like this is flowers, for example. And I have five separate boxes of flowers. But that is going to be a separate video. So that's it for now, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing, getting a sneak peek in some of my... Uh, themed button and charms. That's it for now. Until next time, thanks so much for watching.